Firefighters from across the nation continue to battle that Trinity Ridge fire. It's burning fast right near Pine and Featherville. As crews wait for a break in the weather, Governor Butch Otter called on some citizen soldiers from the Treasure Valley for help. And tonight their mission's been extended. Eric Fink has the latest from Featherville. The longer I stay here manning posts like this one, the more they can put people on fighting the actual fire and get it dealt with. 24-year-old Boisean Kyle Latham mans this Featherville checkpoint. His territory, the last enclave dozens of homeowners saw of their small wilderness town before evacuating this past weekend. Latham is among a handful of soldiers called into action by Governor Otter to help assist homeowners and firefighters in the path of a wildfire that has now torched close to 100,000 acres. Governor Otter gave the state orders to call in the National Guard on Sunday, and 67 members are here showing support to homeowners and more than the 1,100 firefighters on the ground. And they told me today they're here for the duration until this fire is put out. The soldiers are grateful to be able to lend a hand to fellow Idahoans just down the road from home. This is very uh, realistically our, our back door, and to have something on such a national scale on our back door. It's traumatic for the residents, which makes it traumatic for the soldiers. They want to help in any way they can. Being a soldier is, is kind of a thankless job. Um, you know, you don't often get uh, the public out there saying, hey, you're doing a great job, and also witnessing that at the same time. It motivates the soldiers to do a better job. This community's appreciation of the firefighters and the young military men and women at this Pine Base Camp is no doubt evident, but recognition aside, Kyle Latham says he often does this job without the thank yous. Gives me a sense of purpose. I enjoy it. It's just downright simple. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy helping others. Uh, I enjoy wearing this uniform. Eric Fink reporting from Pine. But those living in Pine and